you don't want to give a better life to your family. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. How would you motivate or help somebody who is just struggling to, to make that work in the time blocking? How, how would you help them put that in a package and just start doing it? Because so, so many of us are results focused. Yeah. So get away from that. <laughs> well, I mean, I've already put it in a package. I mean, I've already done that and I can't help you. I can't help you if you're not going to do the work. There's an agent that reached out to me and he just won't get on the phone because he think he's he's so stubborn that he feels like that all I'm doing is telling people to go create relationships for the future and he's like I need I need you know business now how do I get people to do deals with me now and I'm like you have to get on the phone you're gonna find people that want to do business now and you're gonna find people that want to do business later but you have to be communicate you have to talk to people you have to you know do the work and be willing to go through the people that aren't ready now that will do stuff later to get to the people who do want to do business now Quintavious sold 100 properties his first year. He dialed 200, he had he did $200 a day, $200 a day, and sold 100 properties in his very first year with no assistant. He's been he's been doing this for years with me. And I'm like, man, listen, if you would have just started doing what I'm telling you to do last year when we had the same conversation, you would be closing so many deals right now, you can't even see straight. It really opens my eyes up to how different people are and how people hold their self back. And so I think that's what it kind of boils down to is, is are you gonna hold yourself back? Or are you gonna trust the process? You're gonna look at all the other people that have succeeded. That's what's so great about real estate. There's so many people at the top, you know, for you to look at and say, wow, you know, like look at all those people that are succeeding. You know, if they can do it, I know for a fact that I can do it. Um, you know, so there, there's just so many people up there succeeding. If they're doing it, then I know it's possible and I can do it too. Okay, where's the roadmap? You know, where's the blueprint? And so I have my blueprint out there, what I would do if I were a new agent. And it's really hardcore because I'm a hardcore person. Like I used to work on an oil rig, a roofed house. You know, I make a million dollars a year selling properties for four years in a row. And I'm just, I'm, I'm a little extreme. But that's how you have to be. If you want to get to these places, you can't just lollygag and not do stuff and question yourself and question the process and worry about this and worry about that and expect to get where you want to be in life, you know, if you if you're wanting to be somewhere, you know, at a really high level. It's just not going to happen. So, I really can't help people that won't take the steps to do what they need to do and I already have it packaged up for you and I'm always available. You know, I'm always on Instagram answering all those messages. So if people have questions, that's kind of the hub of where you can reach out to me. So it's a full-fledged coaching program where I give you the blueprint, I'm here for questions, and when you finish the 90 days, we get on a call. And all this is completely free, right? So I don't know what else I can do. I really don't. Somebody speak up and tell me, what else can I do? You know, do you really want it or not? And do you have a family? You know, like, are you... Are you trying to take care of your family or are you, are you providing for your family? Because, you know, if you have a family and you know you need to do certain things and you don't do them, I hate to say this because it sounds harsh, but it's just downright selfish. You know, you know, you, you know what you need to do, but you're not doing it because you don't want to. You don't want to give a better life to your family. You don't want to provide you know a better life for your family it's that's the way you have to look at it and then you have at that point once you realize that then you have to put all your feelings aside and say wait a minute what's the worst that can happen somebody hang up on me I mean what I don't know what's so bad right and and I mean what's worse somebody hanging up on you or not being able to provide the best life for your family possible so what's worse right somebody hanging up on you are you having to work really hard or you not providing the type of life that you want for your family. You know, it really kind of boils down to that. You have to decide that, now you have to make a decision. Do I care about being hung up on and working hard? Or do I want this fabulous life for my family? And then you make a decision which way you want to go. So that, so whatever decision you make is going to tell us a lot about who you are as a person. So, I mean, I know agents that call, that, that contact me and reach out, they're about to go foreclose. They're about to go bankrupt. You know, they're about to go bankrupt and they won't make a phone call. Their family is about to lose their house. They're about to foreclose on their house. They're like, what can I do? You know, I'm getting foreclosed on in, in two weeks. What can I do? And I'm like, how many calls are you making? And they're like, I'm not making any. And I'm like, oh my God, why didn't you call me like six months ago so I could tell you to start making calls to build your business, you know, to get some momentum going to boom, you know, not, not foreclose in your house and have your family 
have to live in an apartment or something or move in with mom or dad or whatever. It's just really crazy the things that I see out there and how, how far people are willing to go um, to try to avoid being uncomfortable, to try to avoid you know, hard work, to try to avoid you know, the things that you know, scare them, I guess. But you know, at the end of the day, none of those things are worth more than providing a better life for your family. I don't know, I just try to do the best I can do to make people understand that and hopefully they make the right decision and they, they move forward and do the things that they know they need to do.